Greetings all and welcome to Dave's Craft Room. I'm Dave and on today's video we have another baby quilt. This one is for my coworker, whose wife had a baby and I have selected this pattern called Outer Space Adventure by Janice Holden Designs. It is so stunningly gorgeous. I don't know why I picked this pattern. I never know why I pick a pattern especially for a baby quilt. I just go with my gut. But I think that this is the move. So the quilt is outer space themed. It has applique rocket ships, aliens, and planets. Um, and then there's some applique blocks and some peace blocks. And then there's a big panel in the middle with the applique rocket ship on it. So far I've pulled this fabric. Well, I went to the fabric store today and got it. Planets. This red is for some stashing. These are some more star, like this is constellations and this is just stars. So this is what I need to do. Well, I'm gonna start by pulling all the fabric that I need. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with this center pattern, I think. I have to cut it out, 23 inch by 38 inch center panel applique the pieces on according to the layout. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the panel, cut the panel, pull the fabrics for the applique rocket and planets. Ooh, I'm gonna use Karen Nyberg astronaut fabric for the planets, that'll be stunning. And then do the center panel. And then I'm gonna do next the pieced blocks which go around the border. You know what? That's not gonna look good with this fabric. The print's too big. It's gonna look bad. I might use this. Matter of fact, I almost feel like I need to, whatever fabric I use for the panel, I need to use that for the patchwork blocks as well because it's the only way it's gonna look good. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna use the constellations. I think it'll look best, the constellations. I'll use the planet fabric for the backing. I'm gonna use the constellations for the front, for the panel, center panel, and for the piece blocks, and for the aliens and stuff. That's gonna be the move, and that's what I'm gonna do. So whatever, I'm not gonna sit here and list off all the steps. I'm just gonna do them. <laughs> Okay, I need 50 white, 50 white pieces. 50 white, 50 white. <laughs> I did modify this pattern in a few small ways just to make things easier for me. One of the ways I did that was with this star block. The pattern called for piecing one and a half inch squares like this. I decided to piece it in this way instead because that went a lot faster and you wouldn't really notice a big difference. I'm now working on the applique rocket ship and I chose to do raw edge applique so I traced the designs from the pattern onto flexi fuse and then iron the flexi fuse onto the fabric and go over the edge with the zigzag stitch on my singer sewing machine. This is a method I'm very very familiar with. I've done it many many times and yet I still made a huge mistake because I wasn't paying attention 
and I ironed the flexi fuse to the right side of the fabric when I should have ironed it to the wrong side. The right side is wrong, the wrong side is right, and I just wasted a bunch of my fabric and flexi fuse and time. What have I done? I ironed everything on the front. What a waste of my time. Rocket ship done. Stunning rocket ship. I liked this pattern by Janice Holden Designs. I was looking high and low for baby quilt ideas when I went down an outer space themed rabbit hole and I found this pattern on Etsy and I knew right away that it was going to be perfect for Derek's baby. It does have a lot of applique which is fine with me because I love applique but if you hate applique you might not like making this quilt. In some cases the applique is very small and intricate. I did simplify it a little bit just for my own sake. I also drew my own stars instead of using the ones provided. These little changes I make are just my way of putting my fingerprints on the quilt and showing that this is handmade by Dave. Making the aliens and the astronaut, I use the same raw edge applique technique that I did in the center panel. And here again, I deviate from the pattern a tiny bit because I didn't make all the aliens that I called for. I had this really cute alien fabric that I wanted to incorporate. So I put that in instead of some of the blocks, some of the alien blocks, and that saved me some more time.
I'm curious to ask my subscribers, when you go to make a baby quilt for someone expecting, how do you decide what kind of quilt to make? I think it's hard because you haven't met the baby yet. So do you base it off of the parents and what you think they'll like? Do you choose a theme like this is aliens or I've done robots before? Or do you just pick a patchwork pattern that doesn't really have a theme? My cousin told me her baby likes the robot quilt because there's so many different colors and patterns to fascinate the baby. Is that something you think about? Or do you just go with your gut and it's kind of different every time? That's what I do. So let me know in the comments, how do you land on a baby quilt idea? This is the final result. I gave it to my coworker Derek with a basket of other baby supplies that my coworkers put together and he loved it. Obviously the baby loved it as well. And if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and please come again. <laughs>